How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and we're doing another challenge. This one's going to be the 25 and younger challenge. Now, a couple weeks ago we did a challenge where we did 30 and over and tried to win a team with a team full of players that are 30 or over. This one, we're going down to 25. Um, this is actually going to be tough, I think. This is definitely going to be tough. So we're going to randomly pick a team right here to start off with and we'll get back into the challenge in a second. So let's stop right now. The Boston Celtics. I can do that. I can do that. They got a lot of pieces, man. They got a lot of pieces. So basically, anybody on this team over the age of 25 has to get traded right here before we even sim a single game. So that's including Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, who they just picked up. Jay Crowder just misses it. They got a... Even though this team is really young, they got some key players that are a little older, which is always good to have. A nice mix of veterans and young players. So, again, Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, Jay Crowder, Avery Bradley's probably going to have to get traded before the trade deadline because he's at 25. Amir Johnson, Kelly Olenek. So, pretty much their entire, like, top six guys, they, they all have to go. And then Jonas Urepo has to go. So, this is going to be tough, man, but I feel like... For Isaiah Thomas, we can get a pretty star player, right? So let's try to figure that out. Under 25, let's see what we can get. Okay, so a guy that I know is going to be under 25 for a couple more years is Ben Simmons. So let's try to trade for Ben Simmons, dealing with Isaiah Thomas. Um, We could probably, since we got to get rid of all these players, we could probably throw them like Kelly Olenek to go with. Let's get another guy from them. Um, That's going to be bad. Let's take Nick Stauskas off their hands. We'll throw in some picks. We got a bunch of picks this season. Let's throw them this Mavericks pick, maybe, and a bunch of second rounders. You guys think they'll do that? I know Ben Simmons is their star, but Isaiah Thomas and Kelly... No, okay. So let's make Kelly Olenek into another player. Um, I don't want it to be, like, <sighs> Amir Johnson. You guys want Amir Johnson? No. All right, we'll throw another first rounder for the future. Because, I mean, you think about it, Ben Simmons is going to be worth this, right? They're going to have too many players. Oh, we're going to have too many players. So we definitely got to throw another player. There it is. Okay, we just traded for Ben Simmons. All right. So Ben Simmons is in the starting lineup. I'm probably honestly going to have him run power forward and have Jalen Brown at the small forward once the season starts. Or maybe have Jalen Brown at the shooting guard and have him Ben Simmons at small forward. So either way, both of them guys will be starting um, by the beginning of the season. So you don't have to worry about that. So we still have players to go. Um, Al Horford, Jay Crowder. Let's see if we can get for Big Al in like two second rounders. I don't know. I want to keep those first rounders. I want to keep our first rounder because since we're so young, I figure that we're going to be bad this season. So I want to keep those. Like this trade looked good. And then you see that Greg uh, Monroe is 26. Uh, this is going to take a while. So I'll cut out and come back once we figure something out. Okay, this trade's pretty good. And the S Cantor is 24 years old. So we're going to keep him for basically a year before we have to trade him or whatever. We're also getting the first rounder for this year. So let's get that done. Al Horford, sorry, man. We, we didn't even get to see you play one single game in the jersey. But we had to get rid of you, man. It's only, it only made sense. So Jay Crowd is up next. All right, so we're about to make a trade with the Denver Nuggets. Now, the Denver Nuggets have one of the youngest teams in the league. They got a bunch of young pieces. I want Jamal Murray and Malik Beasley. Be Beasley. I want both of those guys. So we got to figure it out, man. I'll throw you guys Kelly Olenek. I don't need that first round pick. They said they're set at small forwards, which makes sense because they do have Gallinari and Wilson Chandler. Okay. I'm going to cheat the system. Hold on. I'm going to change Jay Crowder's position so they can't say that to me. All right. So I decided that I didn't really need Malik Beasley. We Actually, if we take a look at the roster, we, we have Anais Cancer, right? But we definitely don't have a, a power forward to start for us. I know this guy, if we switch his position to power forward, his overall stays the same because I've done it before in another video. So we're going to try to make that happen instead of Malik Beasley. So, in return, I'm going to throw you guys Kelly Olenek. Is that good? They're not interested, but they want two second rounders, and we get a first rounder. Sure, let's do it. Okay, so, we're making more moves. We're making more moves. We got our starting point guard. Um, I'm gonna, I decided that we are going to have Jalen Brown start at shooting guard. Power forward. This is the star lineup, basically. This is the star lineup, but we still got older players to get rid of before we actually get to seven games. We're going to make this trade, right? Avery Bradley for Otto Porter and a 2016 pick. The reason we're doing this is because for some reason the Washington Wizards always are bad. They're always bad when you simulate in 2K. So I'm hoping that stays the same. And now we have Otto Porter who's on a one-year deal, but he's still under his contract, his rookie contract. So we got a team option on him. And the team last guy is Jonas Repo. I'm hoping I could just get some second rounders or something. I'm not looking to get nothing big for him, especially 
since they're probably going to want a first round pick and we're not really giving up picks this this um this season at least this season we're not giving up picks maybe when the regular season starts or the the off season we'll start doing trades for picks but other than that we just have to get this guy off the team for a guy that's 25 or for some second rounders or something and I'm not seeing nothing because you think about it why would a team trade a 25 year old for a 30 year old like 25 you're still progressing and stuff you never really know so we're just going to do it for some second round picks do that manually. We're going to send him to the 70. Oh, no. The 76ers team is full. We're going to send him to somebody, and then we're going to simulate him. All right. Josh Eustace, two second rounders, whatever. He's uh, 24 years old, so it works out perfectly. So let's do the rotation. This is the way we're going to do it, but let me just official make it official by making Jalen Brown a shooting guard. So if some injuries happen, they don't try to mess up my rotation, man, because they always do that to me. So Jalen Brown, shooting guard. His overall goes down just a little bit, but that's no big deal. Um, and then this guy, his overall is going to probably stay the same. Most likely, it's going to stay the same. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the rotation for year number one. And we're going to get to simming some games. So this trade just popped up as I was simming games. And yeah, I'll take this. James Young, you know, he's a, he really hasn't shown the league that he can play. So I'm going to get rid of him. A first rounder, I'll take that. Like, usually that stuff doesn't happen. Other GMs don't offer you their first round pick, but they just did. So we got a bunch of picks, and we're going to turn those picks into good players or good prospects, whatever it is. We're going to make it happen, and I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Ben Simmons, our boy, Ben Simmons, wins uh, Rookie of the Year. Jared Sellinger, sixth man. DeAndre Jordan, Defense Player of the Year. Giannis, most improved, which is good. Steve Kerr, 73-9 with his Golden State Warriors. Okay, so you can probably guess we did not make the playoffs. 33 and 49, actually, that's more wins than I thought we were going to have. I'll show you that. It said we were 13th in the East, which is not too bad. I mean, because we're going to get a high draft pick. But here are the numbers for year number one. As you can see, where is uh, Ben Simmons was <laughs> averaging basically the least amount of points on the team. I mean, these guys never played, so the least amount of points on the team, but he averaged about 10 assists and 7 rebounds. I'm going to put his shot tendency up a little bit for year number two because it's actually really, really low. Um, this roster that I'm using using actually has it, like, extremely low. And I know in college he didn't shoot the ball much, but look at that. 20 when the league average is a 68. I'm probably going to get it to average and let him score a little bit more. But those are the numbers. And this Kent had a pretty good season. Um, let me see. Nobody 25. Oh, we got a 25-year-old Josh Houston, but he did not play a single minute. Oh, he played a little bit. But he ain't do nothing, man. He ain't messing up the challenge. So, okay. Let's go uh, simulate to the end of the playoffs. I don't know if we traded for that 76er pick, but if we did, I'm going to be pretty upset because they are um, they almost made the championship. Uh, oh, yeah, we did throw them Isaiah Thomas, though. But I don't know if we had their pick. Either way, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. If we had their pick, no big deal. We'll flip it for somebody younger or something, whatever it takes. All right, so let's go to the draft. Let's see what number of picks we have, and then we'll see if we're actually going to draft or we're going to trade. I don't know what we're going to do just yet. We got the number two, the number three, the number six, the number 19. <laughs> oh, my God. Number 27, ninth in the second round. Tw okay. All right. Let's make a deal. I am so upset right now. I wanted to make a trade. Think about it. If I put Carthony Towns here, let's say this is Carthony Towns, and I throw them a Nance Cancer, a, this pick, this pick, and this pick, and this pick, they're going to accept it, but he's not under contract right now. Oh, that's heartbreaking, dude. And if I draft with those picks, who knows if the prospects are going to be good enough to actually meet his value. So that really sucks, man. I wanted him so bad. And as I flip through it, there's nobody under 25, really, that stands out. So I don't know. We're, I'm going to do something. Don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to do something. I definitely have to trade um, an ass cancer soon because he's 25 right now, so he will be jumping up in age. Man, that's a bummer. Alright, we're gonna try to make this trade. The sixth overall pick for Dennis Smith who went up. Okay. Never mind. I, I couldn't even finish my sentence. Maybe we gave up too much, but the NAS Cancer is no longer in the team. We also drafted uh Josh Jackson and Harry Giles, so we have the top three prospects in this year's draft. Basically, I drafted them all just to trade them for Car Anthony Towns later if we can. That's the plan, man. I don't know how good the plan is, but that's the plan. We got a bunch of picks left. I'm probably just going to let the, the assistant GM pick players, and if their potential is high, I'm just going to keep them. 
But whatever it takes, man, I don't know, man. I, I'm so confused when it comes to these trades right now. Because 25, man, I thought there were more 25 and younger players in the league. But I guess not. Since the end of the draft, free agency's coming up. Maybe I'll try to move, make a move for a player. Or what I could probably do is sign LeBron and trade LeBron to, to um, get Car Anthony Towns. And then we'll still have all these guys. I, I'm going to make a plan, and it's going to work. It's going to work. Carthony Towns will be on our team, dude. I promise you that. Uh, that guy. Oh, that's the guy who the Lakers actually drafted. He's he's already in the league. But these guys can all get signed. Second round is we don't care about too much. So all these guys are... Terry Rozier and Nick Stauskas can go. Um, RJ Hunter can also go. But everybody else can come back to the team. So let's see. Let's see if I can make some magic happen. Mo Harkless, he's 25. I'm going to let him go. All these guys can go. How much cap space do we have? Um, enough to get LeBron. But we can't throw in a no trade clause, which is tough. Because usually when you sign LeBron, you get that no trade clause in there. And that's the reason he signs. But we can't really do that right now. So the top prospects or the top free agents I'm going to try to sign just to flip. Before we start the season. And I'll let you know if we get anybody. Oh, I make myself so happy. Yes, this worked. LeBron James. And I also got CJ McCollum who's only 25. So we don't actually have to trade him. He could just be a part of the team. But LeBron is a part of the team which is great. Ben Simmons gets better. All our young guys get better. Except for, of course, the rookies. So I'm excited, man. Because it seems like we're going to have Carl Anthony Towns. Now, he is basically the best up-and-coming player. Like, he... The way he's played his freshman year or his rookie season, whatever you want to call it, it looks like he's on pace to be a future Hall of Famer. And that's hoping that no injuries or whatever happened to him. So I'm excited to have him on the team. And that's not even saying, I don't even know. If Minnesota Tim was maybe stubborn, but like, nah, we don't want LeBron's old self, even though his overall is a 99. <sighs> we're going to do it. We're going to try to do it. Take him off Untouchables. Carthony Towns, you're going to come to this team. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to throw them these second rounders because they, they're worthless to me. LeBron James, Jared Allen, who not a, don't know who he is at all. Otto Porter, second rounders. We're going to try to get Carl Anthony Towns, Amir Oster, just because the numbers need to match up. Some first rounders in Wiggins? No. Okay, we'll take a second round, a first round out. We'll take another first round out. Are you kidding me? They don't. Look, again, this, this happens. They don't want the king, one of the greatest players of all time. It makes sense, but I hate that it makes sense. I hate that it makes sense. Okay, how about we trade finding Carl Anthony Towns? Are they going to say he's untouchable? They're going to say, okay. I'm going to make this happen. He is going to be a part of our team one way or another. We're gonna, it's going to happen. We did it, guys. After 12 minutes of me playing around with trades, this is finally their counter offer. I moved LeBron over to power forward because whenever we tried to get close to any trades, they said we're all set at small forward. So I made LeBron a power forward for that. Demetrius Jackson also has to go along with the next first rounder and Otto Porter to bring in Wiggins, first rounder, Amir Ashik to make contracts work out, and Carl Anthony Towns. That was an ordeal and it didn't have to be. Jeez, that took way longer than I wanted it to. Okay. So, I'm actually going to have Ben Simmons run power forward now. And then, everything else can stay the same. I'm probably going to tweak the minutes around, but I'm going to get to Simmons some games. Okay, so here's the final rotation for season number one. I started the head Josh Jackson start, and I decided to go with the, the older guy, CJ McCollum. I don't know if his birthday's coming up, so... Oh, he's 26 already. Okay, CJ, sorry, you got to go. I thought, I thought we had time. I thought we had time, CJ, but I guess not. He's got to go. Don't know who it's going to be for, but I'll let you know in a second. We're trading for the greatest of all time, Bruno Caboclo. Young's Valanciunas is a big part, too, but Bruno Caboclo, welcome to the team, man. He's only 23 years old. Jonas Valanciunas is um 25, so he may have to get traded by the end of the season. But either way, we're happy with what we got. We got Bruno. He's probably not even going to play. But he's a part of the team. That's all that really matters, man. That's all that really matters. Now we can officially start simulated games. The rotation again. Let's get to it. 46 and 8 at the All-Star break. 12-game winning streak currently. Pretty good, man. Let's see who's doing it for us. Who's the reason we're doing this? Everybody. The rookie Dennis Smith is leading the way, though, with 17. Carthony Anthony Towns averaging 16 and 10. The rookie coming off the bench averaging more than our starting power four. But you see... 
Ben Simmons, I, I changed his tendencies. I not, knocked it up just a little bit. I'll show you. His tendencies are a little over the average. So now he's taking more shots. You can see he's making more. He's averaging, uh, he's shooting 50% from the field, averaging about 14 points per game. So he's doing pretty good good things out there. Wing is averaging 12. So the team's looking good. I have to see if Jonas Valanciunas has hit. He's not 26 yet. So at this point, if he's 26 at the end of the season, it's nothing I really can do about it because he's 25 at the All-Star break. And, uh, oh, yo, Omir Ashik, has he played? Has Omir Ashik played? I doubt he's played. Come on now, he's better than I've played this season. He has not played. We still got to trade him, though. We still got to trade him. Just so you guys won't say, you forgot this player. Okay, so let's do it. Omir Ashik's got to go. There it is for a second rounder from Brooklyn. That's all he's worth. Let's continue to simulate. I'll see you guys in the playoffs. So LeBron in his new role in Minnesota averages 30, 15, and 7. Now, we did switch him over to power forward, and he pretty much had a career year. Um, oh, he's out for the season. How many games? He only played 60 games and he won MVP. But as far as points per game, this is the most he's ever averaged. Comes to rebounds per game, it's the most he's ever averaged. So he had a career year in Minnesota. Um, let's see, rookie of the year. Probably going to go to Dennis. Yes, Dennis Smith wins rookie of the year. Cameron Payne, sixth man. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. I was going to say another guy we could have traded for, but he's 26 at this point, so it wouldn't have worked out. Uh, Karis LeVert wins most improved. And Brad Stevens, our boy, my favorite coach, honestly, wins coach of the year because he coached us. So, I mean, we won a bunch of games first in the Eastern Conference. We were 17 games above anybody in the East, so I'm expecting a sweep. Nobody can beat us. Let's see, in the conference, we were 43-9, and nine, so... Only caught a couple L's in the conference. I'll show you guys the final stats. Dennis Smith led the way in points per game. Double-double for Carl Anthony Towns. Ben Simmons off, went off the bench, but at the power forward position, averaging almost a double-double as well. So first round is against the super team, New York Knicks. And we, we lost the first game. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Don't do this to me. Let me make sure my rotation is still good. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um... They put Wiggins at shooting guard. I think that'll work, right? Yeah, let's let's keep it that way. Okay, yeah, let's keep it that way. If we would have lost the second game, I would have changed it up. But since we're winning, we'll keep it. Okay, second round is against the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm expecting a sweep. And I was right in expecting that. The, the Orlando Magic make it to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since D12. Bismack Biombo, who was really their best player, I guess, if we're talking overall, is out. Um... Jeff Green is also out. Our team's better. Our team's way better. Sweeping them. Okay, Golden State Warriors. What were their record? I don't think we took a look at that. Warriors ended 70 and 12. Okay. Game one, we win. They take game two by. Yeah, that was convincing. They take game three. Okay, it's tied up 2 2. Okay, Sim casting it for game six. We better fight hard, man. We're at home, too. We're in the guard. Yeah, there we go. That's a big win. Force in game seven. We're going to go to the Oracle. If we have any injuries? We don't. Okay, we're lu we lucked out. Here we go. Do they have any injuries? That's important, too. Let's see if they have any injuries. Um, oh, I passed it. I passed them. Nope, they don't. Oh, not the significant. Trey Burke is there, but he's injured. Okay. Oh, I returned back. I'm, I'm not doing things right. Okay. Here we go. My eyes are closed right now. I'm going to slow it down right now. Oh, it's a close one. We're up by about 10 with four minutes left. Go to say words can do anything, though. They can come back, but they won't. But they won't. We won a championship 25 years and younger. We did it, boys. We did it. Steph Curry did his best, dude. Look at that. That's close to a quadruple double. 37, se oh, 39, 7, 8, and 6. I was going to say you can't beat that, but we beat that. On our side of the ball, Ben Simmons came to play. Ben Simmons with a triple-double. Jonas Valanciunas, who's now 26 officially, but we couldn't do anything about that. Dennis Smith with a double-double, double-double for Harry. Guys came to play, and we won. So if you did enjoy this video, if you did, be sure to leave it a like. It's been the king in the fourth quarter. Thanks so much for watching.